Hi guys, it's Jennifer, Rain to Green. I'm going to give you a rabbit update today and show you what they look like. This way, I'm going to set you up out here and just bring the rabbits out one at a time so that you can actually see them. Because normally when I film, they're under here. When I can't, I can't back up any further because I run into the house. So you never get a really good look at what the rabbits look like. So I'm going to take them out and intro you them so you can see them out in the light. This is big, or this is Big Mama. She is a standard Rex. She's brindle colored and very unhappy with me. I um, I filmed the same video yesterday. And it was so windy you couldn't hear me, so I, I'm doing it again today. So she's like, this is the most I've been handled in a long time. She's a really good girl. She's a little old. She's, um, oh, I know it's really terrible. Is it terrible? Um, she's getting on up there in years. So I saved one of uh, Baby Doe's uh, girls from the last litter and am raising her up to inevitably replace Big Mama. She's pushing four now, so she's gonna, you know, she'll have a harder time with breeding the older she gets. So yeah, she's a really good girl. She's really good, really pretty bunny. She's really soft. She's got that Rex fur, which is real soft. Oh, you're a good girl. <laughs> This is, uh, this is Baby Doe. She's also a standard Rex. Um, she's my most friendly bunny. She's, uh, are you weird? She's, uh, pushing on two now. And she's a really good mom. I think I've got a video up of her very first litter where she struggled trying to figure out what the heck to do. But she did really good. She was, she was a stout little mama and did a really good job and so that's why I chose her um, to save one of her babies because uh, she was such a good mom so yeah and all of my Rexes are around gosh how much do you weigh I don't know I'll have to actually weigh them I haven't I haven't done that in a little while so I, I don't want to say facts that <laughs> that I'm not sure about. You have really fat bunnies or you have really skinny bunnies, but yeah, she's a really good girl. Huh. She's like, what is it with this camera thing again? I know, it's terrible. Okay, let's go back. <laughs> this is, geez, you're shedding like crazy. Um, <laughs> this is Blaze. This is Baby Doe's little daughter, and she is a stout bunny. Um, she's um, pushing on four months old now, five months, just shy of five months old. So I probably won't breed her until, I know they say that five months or five pounds, and I usually don't do that. I give them, um, a little bit more time to mature. I think they'll be better mothers. If you give them a little bit more time, you'll get less uh, litters where the mom just has no idea what's going on and you'll they'll abandon the litter. And since I don't have a giant setup where I can breed, which I do do two does at a time when I breed them, but I know a lot of bigger operations will do multiple does at a time so that if one doe abandons their litter, they can siphon off the babies to other mamas. And uh, I don't really want to do that, so I kind of have to breed for really, really good mamas. So she's an untested girl right now. We'll see what happens with that, but I probably won't breed her until push in February. Um, I don't think she'll be old enough or big enough um, to do that even though she's well over five pounds. But we're gonna make sure you're well ready, ready for the job, huh? All right. This is Tiny. He is my new, untested uh, New Zealand buck. Um, I was breeding all standard Rexes and my previous buck, Chess, was a standard Rex, but I wanted to add a little bit more um, 
size to the finished product since that's what I'm after. I'm after the dinner aspect of it. So, but I didn't want to change out all my girls that I already have, so I opted to change out Chess. Now, I haven't bred a litter with this guy yet. He is just shy of um, seven months old. So he's ready, but um, I have a ton of meat in the freezer that I have to go through. So I will probably not breed anybody again until February. So I probably won't do an update again until February because nothing will have changed. Well, Blaze will be getting bigger and bigger and bigger every day, but, but yeah, this is tiny. He's massive. He was a good he was eight pounds at just shy of 12 weeks old when I bought him. I mean, see, he is stout, really thick. I mean, he is all muscle. It's nuts. So he's a really, really good looking bunny, but he wasn't handled when he was really young. So he really doesn't like being touched. He's very much like, um, baby doe in that, or not baby doe, I'm sorry, big mama in that respect. He does not like being touched, but he's really good. And now I'm afraid. His ears pop up. Pop up ears. It was crazy. He is such a stout boy. I mean, holy crap. Okay. Covered in rabbit fur now. So, yeah, that's my crew. Um, that's all I have right now. I don't have any babies, but uh, I will. And I'll um, post more frequently. I'll probably do a breeding video when I finally choose to breed Tiny with one of the girls. And then keep you updated on their progress when little babies happen. So yeah, that's my, that's my little backyard rabbit tree. Thanks for watching everybody.